Hi everyone, Chris Anderson from Mount Comfort RV. What a weird year it's been. We started with the videos obviously back at the beginning of the pandemic, did as many videos as we could to kind of keep people entertained when we were fully locked down. And then as the lockdown ended, the RV industry went wild. You guys have probably heard this. We have been so incredibly busy. We've been lax in doing videos, but that's gonna change here because if for no other reason, we're running out of inventory and, and every RV dealership in the country would, would tell you the same thing. But normally we have, uh, this time of year, 400 uh, total RVs in stock uh, and available to sell. Right now we're less than 100. So that's kind of the, uh, the, the reality of things. If you are going to go RVing this year, being 2021, you need to buy what you're looking for now. Because if you decide to order, that can be dicey. Uh, certainly, if uh, if if they run out of the one, the dealership runs out of the one you want. When they get the next one in, is anybody's guess. We're having supply issues of every kind. Anything from air conditioners to generators to chassis to resins for the fiberglass that goes in these things. And, and demand is here for RVs because everybody wants to go RVing right now, which is great. But unfortunately, supply is down here because the factories are working only about three days a week in most cases because they can't get the parts to, to build RVs. So uh, they anticipate this going for the better part of another year before we fully recover from this. So that's the situation we're in right now. Having said all that, we're gonna do a video on the new Mars I have left here, and then we'll see what other pieces I can fill in it with after that. This is a 2021 Bay Star that we're in now. It's a model 3014, 3014, and beautiful, beautiful coach from one end to the other. So uh, without further ado, let's show you some of the things on this. Now this is built on the new Ford uh, F53 chassis, which has the new uh, 7.3 liter V8 engine in it. Of course, for the last 20 plus years, we've been busy with the Ford V10, and it's been a very dependable motor. But in truth, it was kind of a loud motor at times, especially the early versions and when it was climbing hills. Uh, this new one is much quieter. It's a much, you know, more like a big block engine that we're used to. Um, and it has that V8 throaty sound to it. It has more horsepower, more torque, and it's quieter. So that's definitely a win. It's also a significantly lighter weight engine, which in and of itself kind of gives the coach more power just because you're, you're lessening the load. Uh, so I think you'll love the way this drives. The big thing that happened is they stiffened it, uh, stiffened the chassis. So it basically took that body roll out. If you haven't driven one of these, yet come see me i'll take you for a test drive but you're going to see a remarkable difference between gas chassis of old uh, so as we go forward here you see this has the electric privacy shade in the front no more you know for years with with class a rvs especially gas ones they they had some some automotive leftovers it looked like that they tried to use for for uh sh sun shades and stuff up front that's gone away they have the power front shade there's also you can do a power screen like a daytime screen as well up front the rest of the blinds uh throughout the coach are the mcd style shades where you either have during the day a shade like this or at night you can completely black it out with a uh with a blackout shade this is uh, Williamsburg furniture throughout in the 2021 Bay Star. It's very comfortable. It's very functional. Um, it's beautiful. One thing that there's a couple things that separate this Bay Star from others. Some of the options I want to talk about here. Uh, first and foremost, this one is one of the few coaches that Numar option, options in with the overhead bed. I like the way they do their bed. And the reason I like it is because they, they took most of the electronic functionality out of it and made it basically a mechanical thing. That's a big thing Numar does. They're big on mechanical problem with some of the other brands that are out there is is when you're depending on little electric motors to raise and lower this and there's either two or four motors and they get out of sync and the bed's going up all crooked and you have a failure and get you know the computer messes up it can create headaches what i like about this is being mechanical it's really a pretty simple set you hit this and all this does is unlock these locks right here that's the only electronic portion of this so the rest is manual so we're going to swing this down Okay, we're going to roll this bed down this way. This will hold 250 pounds, perfect for one even good sized person. And then this can be stowed either underneath or under the bed. But we even have a nice ladder for this. So this makes it easier for the kids or the adults to get up into this bed. Just like that. So that's a nice setup. You still have your overhead cabinets. They came, they came down with the bed there. 
and offers a nice little extra sleeping spot. When you're done, folding it up is just reversing the procedure. Okay, we're just going to take this and fold it straight up. The struts kind of help you. It's not real heavy or anything, and then we're done. How easy is that? As I said, there's storage all the way across here. This is the Wi-Fi Ranger. Uh, that will help you pick up some Wi-Fi. If you want more details on that, I could expound on that for a half an hour or so, but that would really bore you to death on a video, so we're not gonna do that at this time. Driver passenger seats spin around. I think that's very important on a, uh, the smaller the coach is. I think on a 43 foot coach, you probably don't spin them around very often. But when you're dealing with a 30 foot coach or you get even like a 27, 28 foot coach, I think you're gonna do that more often. And especially on this floor plan, because when you spin these around, these would actually become the best two seats for the television. We have a beautiful Samsung television with a Bose soundbar and a Blu-ray player right there. And, and between the sofa, the rear facing booth, the two chairs here you have a lot of good places where you can sit uh, and, and watch TV or take in a movie that type of thing. One other thing um, that this coach has is the cockpit table. Now there's a there's a little piece missing on here it's on order this this is supposed to have a cup holder right here and it's cracked but we've ordered it it'll be here soon. But this pulls out okay, stands up like this then the whole thing stands up like this then it flips over like that how slick is that? When these chairs are spun around, either facing each other or kind of facing back towards the television, this makes just an awesome little table to set drinks on or maybe a bowl of popcorn, something along those lines. When you're done with it, let's stow this away. It folds down like this, then folds down like this, hit the release, and it's back to being a console. This coach does have power and heated mirrors. Uh, that is on class A RVs, you don't always get that. It has a fully automatic leveling system, and that's just one touch, hit the, hit the auto level button, walk away, the coach will level itself. So that's some of our, our cockpit features up here. I forgot to mention it does have the three camera system, so you have the rear camera, you have the uh, two side cameras that are turn signal activated. Then that radio below has uh, Rand McNally navigation built into it as well. So that what's nice about the Rand McNally is you can program in your size. So, hey, I'm 12 foot four inches tall, I'm 31 feet long, I'm eight and a half feet wide, and, and it won't take you down any roads that you won't fit down. So that's a really nice feature. And that is also a uh, serious capable radio. All you have to do is call Sirius Radio, they'll turn you on and bill you monthly. All right, moving on. We'll get over here. The control center for this coach is in the overhead here. We have up here, this is going to do our tank levels and battery voltages. Um, this is for our gas and electric water heater. This is just our 12 volt disconnect. So when we're putting our coach in storage and it's not plugged in, you can turn that off and it turns off anything attached to the six uh, house batteries. And yes, there are six house batteries on this coach. Our step switch just helps us determine whether the step comes in and out every time um, or if it just stays out once we're at the campsite. This runs your main slide in and out. This is your awning light, very well labeled there. This is our carefree uh, power awning. And then we have a, 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 a inverter here and this is the secondary inverter. There's a primary inverter for the refrigerator. This is a secondary optional inverter that is just for back in the bedroom for uh, like a CPAP machine or the television in the bedroom. Heated holding tank. So if the weather drops really cold, you can turn that on and uh, not worry about your coach freezing because between the tank pad heaters and the fact that Newmar is the best insulated coach on the planet, you're not going to have to worry about that. And then lastly is our power control system. That's an energy management system. If you plug into a 30 amp service instead of a 50, it will systematically keep, turn things off to keep you under uh, 30 amps so you don't pop the circuit breaker at the, uh, at the post. All right, as we move through this coach, we have a dinette that does fold into a bed. This is, this is the dream style dinette. So this table's on a strut, turn the handle, push the table down and there's a spare uh, cushion in the closet. And then there, there is storage under each of these booths. All right, our hide-a-bed is actually a nice hide-a-bed. I'm gonna demonstrate this because it's a little nicer than most of what you get in a uh, Class A RV. Let's move this cushion over here. You can tell it's well-made furniture, those are heavy. All right, so we're gonna open this up. Right, just like this. Oops, didn't get the leg down. There we go. And presto, no mattresses to air up. This is done as a fabric instead of 
vinyl. Obviously your upper torso would be on there, so that's gonna breathe a lot better than a vinyl would, and that's a comfortable bed, queen size bed, so perfect for two people. When you're done, you stand this cushion up. Okay, let's fold this back in, fold that leg up. There we go, just like that. And we'll put this back. All right. Moving on, we have Corian countertop throughout. This is all cut and buffed and polished at Numar. A double sink with a pull-out sink sprayer. And that is a stainless steel sink. Okay. All right. Before I get crushed, I'm going to open up some cabinets so you can see all of the storage in this coach. Tony, go around and get some shots there. Those are the overheads over the dinette window. And then you have your Blu-ray player up here. There's room. If you added a satellite dish to the coach, your satellite receiver would go up there. And then look at the drawer space in this coach. That is huge. All right. Another good cabinet down there. That'd be good for pots and pans. All right. And then our lower storage in our kitchen. This folds down. This opens up. All right, and then drawers galore in this kitchen. I was noticing this yesterday. Just tons and tons of drawers. And these are soft clothes, so if you get them close, they'll pull themselves back in. And then three more here. Everything works so smooth in a Numar. All right. Under mount three burner gas cooktop with the igniter built in here and a light. And then we have a 30 inch convection microwave and they added the little extra latch to this this doesn't come from whirlpool that comes from newmar and that's just to keep it shut because they don't want that microwave flying open and that nice glass plate going everywhere our refrigerator is locked there we go freezer with ice maker this is a fully residential unit this runs off the main inverter and with six batteries you could go for a couple of days easy without any extra influence um, without being plugged in it'll run off of the batteries through the inverter and then we have a nice size pantry all right our bathroom has a pocket door so that makes it very easy to get in even when the slides are in this door can't really get in your way but i'm going to step in i'll step into the shower this is a big shower okay plenty of elbow space in here turn all the way around tall people not me but tall people we have a skylight here so you've got a lot of extra headroom porcelain foot flush toilet of course we would expect that storage wise in the bathroom got a few cubbies here that one's really deep and then a couple drawers like this but then this pulls open that actually lets you get to the back side of your water heater so it's easy to get to your bypass valves for winterizing Toilet paper holders inside here. Again, Corian undermount sink. You have two fantastic fans in this coach. You have one here, you have one in the kitchen. Uh, both are have the wall control on. Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Get a shot of that. So if you're short and you can't reach the ceiling, uh, you don't need to worry about it. You can, you can use the wall control to get that done. All right, so we're good back to the bedroom. Again, the bedroom has a pocket door. Not so fast, Tony. There we go. That locks automatically in place. We come back. This is a queen size bed. Nice size wardrobe. There's that extra cushion that would be used when you make the dinette into a bed. All right. And then we're going to have five drawers like this one. All right. Five of those. And then the sixth spot here, that's actually another Blu-ray player and more room for a satellite receiver if you want. All right, if you're looking for a good place to stow that pesky ladder, like I said, it'll fit under the coach, but we'll also, if we do things just right, fit right there. How about a back window in a coach? You know, you never get a back window in a coach anymore. That used to be a thing. It's not so much anymore. This coach does have dual pane windows, so again, going to be very friendly to uh, winter elements. Padded vinyl ceiling, all LED lighting throughout. 
Got a second TV back here. The second Samsung TV is back here. This is a two slide coach, but really there's more room in here than a three slide coach because this slide is, is a full wall slide. It goes from the back wall here all the way to the driver's seat. So the, even though it's technically a two slide out coach, there's more room in here than a triple slide. All right, so you have Numar's dual air conditioners that you can't see in here because they're up on top of the roof and ducted in instead of sticking down in here where you have that one return uh, duct that's very noisy. This has as many return ducts as it does output ducts. This row is, is returns. This row is outputs. That makes the air conditioners quieter and number one, number two, and their heat pumps. So more efficient, quieter, and their heat pumps. So if it's above 40 degrees, you won't even need to be heating with your furnace you can heat with your heat pumps and that's a beautiful thing because usually the campground pays for the electricity not you all right let's close up the slides and show you what we have going down the road all right the slides are closed i'm going to first step to the side and let tony just get a good shot down through there you have a nice pathway all the way down through you can get to the bed you can lay on the bed you can get to the fridge the pantry the bathroom but what better way to demonstrate that than to have a fat guy demonstrate it? So here we go, right through here, not even tight through here. Bathroom's easy. Fridge, you know I know my way to the refrigerator. And uh, there we go, pantry. And you can even get to the bed and lay on the bed. All right, let's look at some of the outside storage on this coach. All right, it's a little windy, but it's a beautiful day here in Indianapolis. We're just east, we're actually just east of Indianapolis in Greenfield, right on I-70 at exit 96. Sometimes I forget to mention that, but now you've been told. Also, folks, don't forget the most important thing, ask for me. Second most important thing, if you like the video, please check the like button. And thirdly, if you'd like to see more of them, check, check the subscribe button. Tony's told me I've got about eight minutes left, so let's get right to it. Up front, you can't even see it, but there's actually a clear film on here. You might be able to see the line on it right there if we look closely. This whole front end is covered with this diamond shield film that protects against small rocks and bugs and stuff like that. You step back, you can't see it at all, but it is there, I promise you. These are the side cameras that are turn signal activated that I mentioned, and also, I love the new Ford V8 emblem that's on here. Above that, you'll have your flagpole holder. There's a little adapter that goes down in here. It holds your favorite flag. Power awning, as we mentioned, it does have the metal wrap on it to protect against sticks and twigs as you're pulling into the campground. This coach, when you step up to the Bay Star from the Sport, you actually step up to 22 and a half inch tires. The bigger tire you have, as a rule, you're just going to get a little better ride, a little more cushion, a little more air between you and the road. That's a good thing. That makes for a better, more stable ride. But more importantly, we get aluminum rims, and aluminum rims are shiny and cool. But also, well, we'll go right back to cool. They actually run cooler as well. Um, a steel rim does not dissipate heat as well as aluminum does, so there's actually a true advantage and those will never rust. Three entry steps going in, which makes the first step nice and low. Right. This is full body paint. Every inch of this is paint. You're not seeing any graphics or logos on here. This is all beautiful paint done at the Newmar facility. So this one, a little bit of storage here. That's one of your inverters here. But the big thing I like to demonstrate here is your fresh water, um, your, your fresh water tank drains right here. So um, it's real easy to get to. In fact, there's a little bit of water on board on this. Let's do this. There we go. That's how you drain your fresh water. It's that easy, not too difficult. All right, moving back a compartment. Now we're getting into a little bit more serious storage. We've got some pass through up high. And then not only is this storage, but we have a 110 outlet in here and then HDMI and uh, coax in there. So if we wanted to put a little TV out here on a table, we certainly could. Be very simple to do. This is a uh, gas and electric water heater. So you can run it off of either. As we move back, this gives this is a good spot to show you the flush mount slides. The Numar slides fit back into the wall as opposed to having a plastic piece here that's only going to catch wind and dirt. The 5500 Onan generator. This is what there's actually an extreme shortage of in our industry right now. Um, this is what's going to slow down. There's going to be less motorhomes made for 2022 model year than there was for 2021. And one of the big reasons is 
uh, generator shortages. The 5500 is the better generator. It's a two-cylinder engine, so it's quieter. It has onboard diagnostics on it, um, so it'll tell you if something goes wrong. It'll throw a code like your car does. Um, so that, those are beautiful things. And of course, it's more powerful, uh, enough to run two air conditioners, or in this case, two heat pumps. Now we're getting into some serious storage. Again, that goes all the way through. We have a beautiful rear cap, all molded, one piece, no chance for leaks there. High mounted tail lights so that they can be seen over your toad. That's your car you tow behind you. And uh, uh, that's just in case your lights on your toad would fail. We have a 5,000 pound tow hitch, so you can tow any medium sized car that's capable of being towed behind you. Nice ladder to get on the roof to do your annual roof maintenance. As we go forward up this side, there's our 50 amp shore power cord. Our fuel fill is here and our sewer storage, sewer hose storage spot, that's hard to say, is right there. A Little bit more exterior storage. Here's part of our wet bay, here's the other half of our wet bay. So we have hot and cold water, we have a black tank flush and we have a whole house water filtration system. Our holding tanks, this is a good spot to show you that the holding tanks actually have external probes on them, uh, external sensors on them as opposed to internal probes. They're just more accurate because the internal probes get stuff stuck to them. I'll let you figure that one out. This little hose right here, that's for winterization. When you get ready to winterize this, you simply turn that valve and it will suck the RV antifreeze right out of a jug. Here are four of our batteries and they are on a pull-out tray. Those are four of the house batteries and then our propane bottles up front. There's two more house batteries up under the hood along with your engine start battery. So that's a total of seven batteries on this coach. All right, let's get a good shot of the front, Tony. Don't think we've done that. Beautiful one-piece windshield, beefy wiper blades. Here's the best part about this motorhome is it's in stock right now. There aren't many. And if you look around the country, a lot and probably more Newmar dealerships are completely out of inventory than have inventory. Right now, I still have a handful of pieces left. That's why we did this video. If you're interested in this, please don't hesitate. Give us a call. I'd love to show you through it. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV.